Hi, welcome to Bar Card Bookshelf, a video series about books and the drinks they inspire. My name is Elias, and today we're talking about The Memory of Souls by Jen Lyons. The Memory of Souls is the third volume in Lyons' A Chorus of Dragons series, and after filming our video for Book 4, The House of Always, the other week, I decided to revisit the cocktail that I had made for The Memory of Souls when it was released last summer. It's a wonderful time of year for crushed ice drinks and tropical flavors, and fortunately, a good portion of The Memory of Souls is set in a tropical region of Lion's World, in the Manol Jungle and the adjoining Corfean Blight. And so we're able to play with some of these classic sort of tropical flavors, fruits, citrus, rum, and uh, make a, a delightfully refreshing cocktail to sip when you're out sweltering in the sun and reading a good book. Another recurring feature of Lion's World and of the series is this notion of reincarnation, that death is seldom as permanent for her characters as it is in our world, especially when you are a close friend or servitor of the goddess Thene, whose elephant uh, graces the cover of the book here. And so I wanted to sort of give a sense of how this divide between the world of the living and the dead would work in cocktail form. And I think when we have the final product, you can really see how that's going to work out. So without any further ado, why don't we get into making this week's drink, Across Our Lives, a tropical cocktail in honor of the memory of souls. So we'll start with one of our two base spirits. Uh, it's gin. Uh, you want to use a really sort of herbal forward gin, not too piney, uh, but certainly not too citrusy. I've got the Tommy Rotter gin, made in upstate New York here. It's really pleasant. It's got almost a cinnamon quality to it, and I think that adds a lot to uh, this cocktail in particular, and a number of other drinks as well. So we'll get a half ounce of that into our shaker. And then we'll start with our sweeteners. We've got a quarter ounce, just a wee bit, of a bitter lemon syrup from Pratt Standard, one of our favorite syrup makers. I need a little more. There we go. It's a nice sort of soda syrup. It's going to add that citrus peel, a bit of an herbal quality, but really uh, a pleasantly lemony bitterness. And then we'll get some mango juice in there. Not the most common ingredient in cocktails, but uh, a fun one, I find, and definitely uh, going to bring a lot of really excellent tropical flavors. And we'll get half an ounce of that in there. I get my mango juice from Trader Joe's. It's not from Concentrate and um, comes in a convenient can. Just very pleasant and easy to use. Then, I always like to add citrus last to wash out the jigger. We're going to get a full ounce of lime juice down in there. Wonderful. Get that there. Then, to really amp up the spice, I'm going to add two dropperfuls of the 1821 Prohibition Aromatic Bitters. It's a small bitters company in Atlanta, Georgia, making these. Really intense flavors. We used them uh, a while ago for a couple of other drinks, and uh, they're one of my favorites. We'll be using them again plenty of times. And so we've got our first set of ingredients into our cocktail shaker. We do have some blackstrap rum here, but we're going to save that for after we've shaken things up. And we're going to wait just a sec still to add our ice to the shaker, because before we do that, I want to take my bag of crushed ice here and get some of that down into my cocktail glass. So we'll get that just sort of in there. Wonderful. Nice sort of alcohol slushy, um, which is really very pleasant in the afternoon on the summer. Just a cool refreshing tropical kind of drink. So we'll get a bit of that down in there. Not a ton because we are going to be adding the liquid. And then we'll get our ice 
into the shaker, just a few cubes this time, because they're what we call agitator cubes. They're going to shake things up and they're going to blend our ingredients. But they aren't going to do quite so much to dilute because we've got the crushed ice. That's going to melt and that's going to dilute the drink for us. So we get nice agitation, a good froth in there, and then we're going to add the first part of our cocktail to our glass. Lovely orange color, um, something sort of like the gold of the, the book cover. And then, as I mentioned, we do have the Blackstrap rum. It's a uh, cruisin' rum. It's one of my favorites for making cocktails with, and we're going to get an ounce of that into the jigger here. That's good. And then what we're going to do with this is we're going to make a float. So I've got my bar spoon here, and I'm going to get that up on the edge of the glass. And then I'm just going to pour the rum over the back of that spoon so it really hangs out at the top of the glass and forms a nice line of separation from the remainder of our cocktail. And so there you have it, Across Our Lives, a tropical cocktail for Jen Lyons' The Memory of Souls, dividing the world of the living and the world of the dead, a wonderful drink for a summer afternoon, and a wonderful book to read at the same time. In the meanwhile, please like and subscribe, try the drink, tell me what you think, get The Memory of Souls, or book one, The Ruin of Kings, and until next time, cheers!